Conway hits 88 before rain sparks Somerset collapse. A fruitful four weeks for Somerset in the Vitality Blast gives way to a return to the LV County Championship. They're one of the leading sides across the three groups, top of Group 2 by 10 points, but Leicestershire will hope to frustrate their progress despite their comparatively lowly position. All the early going belongs to the hosts. Devon Conway, so impressive against England for New Zealand, kept up that form on his Somerset debut, and alongside Stephen Davis, guided his new side to 50 despite the disruptions of passing showers. This stylish four sealed the half-century opening partnership. It looks like hard work for the Foxes, their bowlers unable to find a way to separate the partners, both men looking in good touch and playing their way into the 30s, the score now creeping ever closer to three figures with lunch looming. The rain that began to tumble with Conway into the 40s was respite for the visitors. A difficult first session brought to a premature end, time for them to regroup. Conway wasted little time after the break to go to his 50. It was a first in the LV County Championship for the highly rated Kiwi, and it was picked up when he ploughed Griffiths for four for his 10th boundary of the innings. Davis fancied a bit of that too. Back-to-back -back fours in the next over took them to the cusp of, and then ticked the score over two 100 runs. The first time this season that Somerset had seen the opening pair put on 50, let alone three figures. And he too would play his way to 50. Barnes pulled for four through the leg side, Somerset's opening pair growing in confidence, while the bowler's body language summed up the Fox's day so far. The plane sailing for Somerset was only stopped by some poor weather, both men in the 60s, and the score 134 for none. An early tee was taken, with the heavy rain sticking around. The two-hour delay seemed to do the trick for Leicestershire. They finally picked up the first wicket on their return to the middle. Davis on the end of a wonderful delivery, bowled for 65. Goldsworthy took the total to 150, but that would be the extent of his contribution. Another for Davis when he was pouched in the slip cordon. Conway was the key for Somerset, and he was playing his way towards 100 runs. He'd fall short though, bowled through the gate by Parkinson on 88, the Foxes now enjoying themselves in the evening session. They were within 20 runs of 200 when Bartlett joined the now growing procession of Somerset batters. A mic delivery left to strike him on the pads, and the umpire wasted no time raising the finger. Lamanby and Hildreth were a little more reticent than their predecessors, but still ticked the score up to 200 runs. Crucial bonus points sealed. But once again, the Foxes separated an important partnership before it could do too much damage. Lamanby clearly disgusted with himself after edging through to third slip. Griffiths had Hildreth too, Somerset's excellent start now seeming like a distant memory as the visitors really hit their straps. He had a third in quick time as well, Overton caught behind for five, and the collapse was continuing. Davy and van der Merwe retreated, attacking shots dispensed with as the day wore towards the close. And the pair remained through what was left of the day, ticking their way to 242 for seven, and they were taken from the field of play. After a day of two halves, Somerset will be thankful that their top order had finally fired after some well-documented difficulties earlier in the season. Without Conway and Davis Knox, they could be on the back foot. As it stands though, the match is delicately poised, and we should be in for a fascinating second day.